and we just we was flat. You know, I think that was the big big key to the whole the first first quarter uh, drought. You know, but we picked it up in the second quarter. We just kept playing, kept fighting. Can I answer that too. Oh, uh, you know, I just think uh, we did a great job, you know, sort of calming down, um, understanding that, you know, we just had to do our jobs better, um, you know, just pay a little more attention to detail. And, uh, you know, it resulted in, uh, you know, 32-9 to nine run, um, you know, to finish the game at that point. So um, not just the offense, but the defense picked it up as well. And, you know, uh, you know props, um, shout out to the whole team. Yeah. Um, it's a team thing, and I think we, we all have faith in each other as a team, and we hate each other's backs, whether we're up, down, and just us having each other's back helped us get to the, get to the finish and come back. PJ, first of all, congratulations on being the first XFL quarterback to reach 1,000 career passing yards. Thank you. Um, but you did sputter a bit today. Uh, what, specifically, what specifically do you think went wrong? And then how do you pick yourself back up because you were able to turn it around and get your team back on um, track? The first, the first interception was a bad read on my end. Should have got inside. And uh, I, I saw him running out there as well. You know, just me trusting my arm strength and everything. I felt like I could get it past him. And uh, he just made a great play. And um, the second one was just a bad throw, bad decision. You know, just after that, just got to lock in and next drive, and next drive mentality on my end. For all you guys here in that second half, the, the, it seemed like the offense, offense was really clicking here, specific, specifically the passing game here. Just what was different in that second half? We, we, we answered the, you know, we just completed the ball. O-line blocked really well, and uh, we just was out there doing, you know, we had opportunities in the first half as well, you know, but <clears throat> a couple bad decisions on my end just, you know, stopped us a little bit. Um, I go back to just, you know, we, we knew we had to pick it up, and um, offense kind of fed off the defense, and defense fed off the offense, and um, you know we just started to uh, just pay attention to the detail, you know, and just do our own jobs and not trying to do too much. And I think the game started to come to us, um, you know, and I think we picked it up. Hey, going back to what Cam said, we we just had to uh, just continue to stick with each other um, and fight. We we knew what we had to do, and we made the big plays when we needed to. And that's what it came down to, offense and defensively. What's up, guys? It, is there anything that y'all did either before or after that first game that has kind of become uh, your regular post-game or pre-game routine? From from the first game? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, we just go out there and we just play. You know, we know what we got in our locker room. You know, we, we stay consistent every day. You know, we work, we work really hard, I would say, you know, for the most part. <clears throat> as a team, you know, so we know we got in our locker room. We just go out there and do what we do. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, really it's just taking the practice over to the games. Um, you know, we, we've been doing this since uh, really December, um, you know, trusting in the uh, the process, trusting in uh, Coach June's offense, you know, the, just what the coaches are preaching to us. And, uh, you know, I think we just really started to come together. Yeah, we're coached well by our great coaches, and they push us. And offensive, offense and defensively, during practice, we push each other. We go at each other every day to make each other better. So, I, you, we do what we gotta do, and you see the the uh, outcome. All right, Chidi have with Alternative Facts Sports. Um, PJ, I want to start with you. You had three turnovers today, but. It seemed like you guys had a never quit spirit. Um, yeah. Do you think this is a big? This is a big one for you and the team. The fact that things weren't perfect, that you still found a way to win. And also, I want you to speak on you and Cam's relationship. Where does that come from? Yeah. Does that come from chemistry being built in practice, or just your knowledge of the game? Um, in the beginning, you know, we, the the three turnovers was just you know, it happens. It's, it's part of the game, you know. So uh, things happen. You just got to bounce back from them, you know. Great players bounce back. You know, winners gonna always bounce back as well. And uh, that's it is what it is. I, I, I never, you know, I never put my head down. Never anything, you know. I just told these guys I got them. I'm, I'm, I'm got to be out another opportunity. And uh, we, we put up points every time we turn the ball over. I think offensively. So, and, you know, our relationship just comes from being on the football field all the time, talking in the locker room, talking every day. Going out in, as I know, uh, so it's just a whole bunch, you know. And this is not just with him; it's every receiver, you know. So it's just a consistent 
um, constant communication as well. And these guys are smart, so they know what they see, and they just relay it back to me, and I'm, and I'm just going to be there for them, you know, just to deliver the football to them. Cam, you've been a marked man after the first couple of weeks. You had back-to-back three, three TD reception. It seemed like that the defense is starting to roll. The coverage is over to your side. And the fact that this P.J. being patient enough and finally get you open, maybe get you come back with two touchdowns a day. So how is it, you know, the patience, we have been able to have that patience. And finally, I think he finally got more patient today than finally get you open. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's... Uh you know, just game plan wise, I guess other teams are starting to notice and sort of, you know, respect me a little bit. Um, but with that being said, you know, we have uh, uh, plenty of other guys that can do a great job. You know, today Sam had a great game. Uh, Nick Holly, you know, had another great game, made a few big catches. Um, and, you know, just like I said, we, we trust in each other, man. We, you know, talk all the time, laugh all the time. So we understand, you know, that camaraderie and sort of brotherhood, you know, is key, um, especially on offense. So, you know, I just think, um, you know, just continuing to push each other and practice and try to, you know, stay optimistic, you know, has been really big. Um, I know you guys are 5-0, and no, but have you guys played like a perfect game yet? No. If not, like what are no. some things? Not even close. Not even, not even close. close. I don't even think we played a perfect quarter yet, you know. So <clears throat> once we get, I I think we played perfect three quarters at some point, we'll look really good, you know. But we just out here just playing, you know. Um, if adversity happens in a football game, you'll never be able to play a perfect football game. So, you know, we just take what they give us on um, defense and just go out there and play. PJ. Adore Jones, the Garage Park Media. Um, you hit Holly uh, to, to crack open the, the scoring. Mm-hmm. Describe what you saw on that play and how you were, you know, being down 14 nothing. you knew you guys had to go down there and score, but you went down there and did it quickly. So describe yeah. to us what you saw on that play and how you were able to find him and, and, and talk about the move he made to get in the end zone. Um, <clears throat> they, ran out to, they ran out there with the flat and... Uh, I just I just saw two guys just go with the flat, and I knew Nick was by himself, and I knew the safety was with it, just one on one with him. So you know, just put the ball in his hands. Nick did his thing with the moves, and and then he outran him to the end zone. So that was the best part about it. He got he got loose to the end zone. PJ, you're considered by a lot of people to be far and away the best quarterback in this league. Does that does that affect your mentality week to week at all? No, nah, not at all. It's the same mentality every week. Um, just go out there. I, I, I play with a lot of I play with a lot of passion, uh, a chip on my shoulder. So <clears throat> the noise outside of this building, outside of the locker room, really don't matter to me, to be honest. And uh, it is what it is. Uh, this question is for either PJ or Cam. I just got in the locker room and talking to your defensive unit, and they said that you know even you know with the turnovers even being down that that you all. They, they never lost faith in you all. What does that mean to, to either one of you all to know that on the other side of the ball that they have that much faith in you all? Uh, <laughs> just, they, they, know, they know we're capable of uh, as an offense, you know, and uh, they know we got a lot of playmakers out there that can make big-time plays. And uh, just get the ball in our receivers' hands and our running back hands, and they're going to do what they got to do. Mr. Walker, you spoke of the offense just a minute ago. This has been a very high-powered offense. In fact, at one point during the season, you had outscored some XFL teams. So what do you think have been the biggest improvements you've made offensively since week one, and what would you like to improve on? Um, offensively since week one, I think we just been a little bit more consistent with like knowing, with knowing where we're supposed to be. You know, in the beginning of the season, we had some – and me's here and there, you know, but now I think everybody is like more in tune to the offense and knowing what we got to do. So now this is for all three of y'all. You know, of course, you have the two two leading candidates for, for MVP or player of the year. Who is your vote for MVP? <laughs> you can't vote for yourself. I'm going to vote for Cam anyway. I ain't going to vote for myself. I'm going to vote for Cam. You said you can't vote for yourself. You can't vote for yourself. I vote for myself. I'm going to vote for him, too. I'm going to vote for him, too. We got to have it. No, man. He's done a great job, man. I mean, y'all see it every week. Um, you know, and really just a, a selfless guy. Um, and I think, you know, that's really why we've had the success we've had, just because, um, you know, he's trying to get everyone, you know, riled up and, um, you know, trying to do whatever he can, you know, whether it's try to pick the energy up or, um, you know, help the defense, you know, yelling out calls, whatever it is, you know, he's, he's done a great job and, you know, all props to him. So I, I pick him. 
I mean, honestly, I ain't gonna pick neither one of them. <laughs> 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 nah, they, they both deserve it. They both come come every day, work hard, make plays in practice, and as you see, it translates to the game. So they they both deserve it. But honestly, if I had to vote, I wouldn't vote at all. I let somebody else make the decision for me. That's what you vote for yourself. That's smart. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos. Let me share something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.